On today's video, we're gonna rank the downtowns of all of the cities in and around the Raleigh Triangle area from the worst all the way to the most amazing. Hello everyone, this is Chris Morton, real estate broker with the Morton Bradbury Group. And without further ado, let's get started. So, the first caveat we need to give you guys off the bat is we are not going to include Raleigh's downtown or Durham's downtown on this list. They're pretty much both tied for first because they both have a really great food scene, nightlife, shopping, all of that. It wasn't fair to the rest of these cities around the area to lump in Raleigh and Durham. So let's put those to the side and start with the bottom of the list, the worst downtown in the Raleigh Triangle area. And that is Morrisville, North Carolina. So the reason we put Morrisville at the bottom is because there isn't a downtown. Morrisville has kind of sprung up. It's sort of like a new construction mecca around the airport. Everyone loves to live there because it's so, so close to both the airport, Research Triangle Park, and, and really everything in the triangle, but it is not the place you go to look for an amazing downtown because you're gonna be looking for a while. Next up, the second worst city in the triangle for the downtown area is Garner, North Carolina. Garner's a cute little town. Lots of construction is going on and growth is going on there. But unfortunately, the downtown is pretty much just a single little street and pretty much one long building. Not really much going on. We hope things improve in the future and get up to the level of some of the other cities as we're gonna talk about later on in this list. But unfortunately, Garner, you ain't that good. So number 14 on our list is Rollsville, North Carolina. So mm, the good news for people who live in Rollsville is they live really, really close to Wake Forest, which has a really amazing downtown. So if you're looking for a downtown vibe, there you go. You go to Wake Forest. Rollsville, you know, like Hardee's, McDonald's, not a whole lot going on down there. Again, as Rollsville is growing and growing and growing, we're hoping that this downtown area is going to get revitalized. But Pretty much just a, a straight shot through Rollsville to get to wherever else you're going. And the good news is there are some developments that are coming to Rollsville in the next few years. Some really, really cool stuff coming that we're excited to tell you about. So if you're seeing this video in the future, you're probably thinking I'm crazy by putting Rollsville this low. We will see how things develop, but again, exciting things are coming that way. Next up in the number 13 slot is Nightdale. I personally love Nightdale. I think it's a cute town. It has a lot of stuff going for it. There's a nice park downtown in that Nightdale station area. And it's really cool. Prime Barbecue, one of the best restaurants around. But by and large, the downtown is a little dismal. There's a really nice bakery there and a few little odds and ends, but not a lot going on in downtown Nightdale. Our hope is that they're gonna start revitalizing it and things are gonna start popping there soon. Right now, not so much going on but it is cute, so it gets points for that. Next up in our number 12 slot is Youngsville, North Carolina. Youngsville is very much small town America, really nice little town. The downtown area is very charming, super cute, just not a lot there yet. We're hoping as, again, that area grows because it's so close to what Wake Forest as well and people are moving to Youngsville, we're hoping that that downtown's gonna get better, but it lands in this spot because it is small, cute, cuter than Nightdale, so that's why it lands here. Next up in the 11 slot is Zebulon, North Carolina. And Zebulon is the epitome of small town Southern America. Really nice little downtown. It's one of those sort of older downtowns where you expect to see a 1948 Ford something or other parked out front. Has that sort of storefront look about it. Very, very charming. There's some stuff going on there. Not booming by any stretch. So it kind of falls here as sort of in the middle of the list. Next up in the number 10 slot is Holly Springs, North Carolina. And yes, for all of you living in Holly Springs, I know you saw our past video where I said Holly Springs is not so great. I'm sorry. It's true. They're working on it. The downtown is getting better, but the problem with the downtown for Holly Springs is it sort of didn't grow up organically. It sort of is all new buildings by and large. So it's hard to have character when everything was built in like 2010, 2020. Things are getting better, but that's kind of why Holly Springs kind of falls here on this list. It's sort of, eh. A little bit milk toast, if I must be honest about it. Next up in the number nine slot is Hillsboro, North Carolina. So Hillsboro has a really cute little downtown. Definitely, definitely has some stuff to do there. 
would be a great day trip from anywhere else in the Triangle. A couple of restaurants to note beyond just the gift shops and the shopping that you can do downtown Hillsboro. A couple of restaurants to note is the Wooden Nickel, which I've heard great things about, and Panchuto, which has been considered by many, many people in the area as the number one best Italian restaurant in the Triangle. Being that I'm on a diet right now, I'm crying inside having to report this information to you. I will get over there very, very soon and let you know how good this place truly is. But apparently amazing Italian. Definitely again, as, as I said, if you're considering a move to Hillsboro, you're going to be in luck as far as eating goes. And if you live in any other part of the triangle, definitely worth your time to go out there for the day. Next up in the number eight slot is Wendell, North Carolina. And Wendell's downtown has a place in my heart. I love it. I love the look of it. It's coming up and growing and there's stuff to do there. And you got wine store, you got coffee shops, you got ice cream parlors, you got general stores, all that stuff going on. There's a brewery there. It's really, really nice. Definitely a great place to go, especially if you live on that eastern side of the triangle and that's why Wendell falls into the number eight slot. Number seven on our list is Cary, North Carolina and that might surprise a lot of you. I think most people think of Cary, they think it's probably the number one greatest everything in the triangle. Unfortunately, the downtown for Cary has kind of getting revitalized as we go but isn't there yet there's some stuff there not really that amazing mainly because a lot of that growth that happened in Cary happened in the other parts of the area and the downtown kind of stagnated for a while again it's coming up things are getting better they are revitalizing massively the Cary Park which is in downtown Cary super excited for that to come online I think that's going to cause even more growth again there are restaurants in there shopping about anything you can imagine but just basically for its size Cary's downtown's a little a little on the puny side. Next up in the number six slot, we have Pittsburgh, North Carolina. And Pittsburgh is truly small town America. It's down sort of on the western, southern, west, southwestern side of the triangle. It kind of off to itself. And so it doesn't get a lot of love from people up in like northern Wake Forest and all of that sort of thing. And so it's kind of a little bit of a hidden gem, but as growth is going out in Pittsburgh and Chatham Park is a major development that's going out there. As growth's coming out there, you're seeing more and more stuff going on in, in all of Pittsburgh, but especially in the downtown area. Really great restaurants, lots of shopping, lots of stuff going on. Definitely a cute little downtown and definitely worth your efforts and time to go out and visit. Next up in the number five slot is Clayton, North Carolina. And Clayton for its size, I guess probably people would be shocked that it would fall into the number five slot, but it has an amazing downtown. Scott Crawford, very, 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 very well-known chef here in the area, has Crawford's Cook Shop, delicious food. Manning's is there, which is an institution has been there forever as the restaurants go. Lots of shopping, lots of cool stuff going on, coffee shop, steakhouse, all that in downtown Clayton. Definitely an area we recommend you visit, again, especially if you're on that side of the triangle, and that's why Clayton falls in the number five slot. Number four on our list is Apex, North Carolina, and Apex, again, really, really nice downtown. Apex automatically gets points simply because Apex Wings is there. I'm sorry, I'm a little biased, but they have the most amazing wings around. Really, really great downtown has lots of events going on all through the year, right through the middle of the town. Again, highly recommended, definitely worth your time to visit. And if you live in Apex, yay, you get to experience that downtown all the time. The number three city on our list is Fuquay Verena. And again, for those who don't know, Fuquay Verena was the merger of Fuquay Springs and Verena, North Carolina, two little towns who merged together. So why does it go so high on our list? Well, for one thing, both little towns, when they merged, kept their downtown. So you're basically getting buy one downtown, get the second one for free. So yay. Beyond that, there's some really, really cool stuff going on down there. Lots of great restaurants. Vicious Fish is one of my favorite restaurants is down there. Stick Boy Bakery is down there. Cinnamon rolls, the cinnamon rolls alone. If everything else in Fuquay Verena was leveled to the ground except for Stick Boy Bakery, they would still be number three on this list. That's how amazing Stick Boy Bakery is. I'm joking. It's a really great area. Highly recommend you go check out Fuquay Verena. Really cool. And growth is out there. It's just booming. So more than likely, if you're watching this video, you probably live out there anyway. Number two on our list, Wake Forest, North Carolina. Wake Forest has done really well getting their downtown upgraded and Moving along in the last 10, 15 years, White Street Brew Pub is there, 
restaurants are there, coffee shops are there. Really just a great place to go. If you live up in Wake Forest, definitely you know how awesome the downtown is. But if you don't live up in that area, it's worth your time to go visit and hang out and have dinner and go to the brew pub or whatever you want to do in downtown Wake Forest. There's events going on there all the time. Highly recommended, super great downtown. Can't say enough about how awesome the downtown for Wake Forest is. And that's why it comes in number two on our list. And number one on our list, if you've ever been to the Triangle, you know who's number one for downtown. That is Chapel Hill, North Carolina. So Chapel Hill is the home of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Really cool how they named it like that. And because of that, it's heavily influenced by students. And because students are coming from all over the world to come there, you're getting a really cool diverse food scene. Not just for kids though, there's lots of stuff for adults. Uh, I am jaded. I went to school at UNC, so yeah, that would have influenced my vote here. But that being said, I think just about anybody knows how amazing the downtown for Chapel Hill is. Very, very walkable, very, very easy to get around. Lots to do there, lots of shopping, lots of restaurants, lots of bars. No, there's lots of bars because there's college kids. And because of all of those reasons and because it's so charming, Chapel Hill comes in at number one on our list. So if you're considering a move either into or out of the Raleigh area, my real estate team and I would love to be your agents of choice. You can give us a call at 919-964-0474, email us at hello at mortonbradbury.com, or click on the link in the description to get things started. Check out this video. We think you're going to really like this one as well. And if you haven't already liked and subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Hit those buttons below. And with that being said, we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.